Yes. 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 It used to be Youth Emergency Shelter Society of Edmonton. But now it's Youth Empowerment and Support Services. So right now what you're hearing is our panic alarms being tested. We've made sure that we can hear them in every room and we've added in some more wireless hotspots so that we can make sure that they're um, heard in the right places throughout the building. And we're just going through all of our drills to make sure that we're on top of things because we've got precious cargo in this building that we need to take care of. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if you were to be able to describe yes to me in one to two sentences, what would that sound like? Oh, tricky question, mm -hmm. and not at all. Um, <laughs> yes, and actually all of the youth agencies, uh, sort of the vulnerable youth agencies in the city, um, our age is about 15 to 24. We take care of youth that have been traumatized, um, either by mental illness or abuse or addiction in the home or in the community, um, and try to help them heal as and, and heal themselves, because we're not necessarily healers, but connect with the right people and the right programs to heal and to integrate back into community. Okay, so describe maybe some of the programs that you offer here. Sure. Um, so uh, over the years we've built in programs like literacy uh, and education, financial literacy, basic life skills is a big one. So a lot of these kids, you know, unfortunately, if, if you've grown up in, in a crack house, you don't know how to put dishes away in a cupboard. You've never seen somebody get up and have a shower and go to work on time or cook a meal. And so some of those basic pieces, uh, personal hygiene, um, those, are, those are things that are parented in, in families where they're able to do that. And, and lots of our kids are coming from families who aren't able to, and there's no shame to them, you know, those families too. A lot of them um, went through that same piece. So we see lots of different um, traumatic experiences then ending up with our kids and we're trying to build programs around helping them with whatever they don't have. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of work. Right now, we're going to spend the next sort of six to eight months really readying our organization with our language, our culture, our process, and our programming to focus on the things that help trauma. So in, you'll, we'll see much more programming for us around things that connect mind and body. So things like yoga and meditation, art, music, um, sport. Uh, all of those things uh, use your right and left brain mm -hmm. and start creating some of that focus and connectivity and mind-body connection. Teaching staff the same pieces on how to regulate de-stress, mind-body connection and how to, uh, uh, together, because that's the other piece. Is trauma is healed by, through relationship. You need a relationship with yourself because when you've had bad things happen to you, you make it your fault. So we have a bunch of kids with a bunch of shame and they need to build that self-worth again, self-esteem and self-respect and uh, self-regulation. Margo, you've been here for a year now yeah. as executive director. Mm -hmm. What's your vision for YES? Well, it's not mine, it's theirs. Um, and, and it's actually you know, a, a group vision and that is that we stop focusing on ourselves as an organization and start focusing on the cause of trauma and really the vision is that every kid that comes to us um, is integrated into community and feels like a valued member of community. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos and want to join us on our ride of our web series, Life of a Producer, then like and subscribe here. Right here. That's right. You got it. <laughs>